In this video, I'm going to show you how I build a YouTube styled course or membership using our very own platform, the Digital Course Hive. I am so excited about this video because I really feel like I'm not showing the full extent of what Digital Course Hive can do. Uh, as a designer, I am absolutely in love with our platform because it gives you almost the full ability of WordPress designing, but like without the confusing WordPress stuff. So without further ado, let's jump right in to creating a YouTube. First, what you're going to need is a trial to either Digital Course Hive or some other software that's going to allow you to build drag and drop memberships. Digital Course Hive is our own platform. It starts at $49 a month and it covers everything that you need to build an online business, such as your membership builder, your email and CRM. You can even sell physical products and take appointments on there. Do funnel building, A-B testing, so on and so forth. So this is what I recommend. This is gonna be easiest if you're a beginner. If you are absolutely in love with WordPress and you like to use that, you can also use that to build a membership such as this. I am going to create a the video page first. After I'm gonna create the categories page and after that I am gonna create like the home page or the dashboard. Okay, so this is this is what I'm talking about when I talk about video page. If your big big video right here, your title, your description, um, you know, the author, you know, you're the course creator, and then other recommended videos here. So in order to do this, I'm going to add a widget and that widget is going to be a video. And I'm just gonna take the link from this video here and make this full width because that is what it looks like on YouTube. After that, I'm gonna add another block below. It is going to be a two column block. And I will also make this full width because YouTube just has that full width theme going on. Here is where I can add the heading. So may, this one, for example, is, I'll just put uh, video title. Then we can put the author. Let's drag a little image in here. Let's do Jen. And then we will put next to it the author name. <laughs> And below that, it's going to be a video description. I might take some lorem ipsum for that. And if you guys don't know what lorem ipsum is, it is something that um, graphic designers use to imitate real text. It does not say anything. It is not Latin. Some people do think it's Latin. It's not and it's just text that uh, we use to imitate real text. And so now you can install Discus to um, create comments on your website. And so I'm gonna do that for this example. You do not have to do it. And I'm going to go drag a code element down here install that there and you cannot see it now but it will pop up okay so next on this page i am going to create recommended videos here and so you can just do so by dragging an image to this side you know doing the thumbnail let's see if i have any thumbnails in here i do Camera's blocking this. And then 
just like YouTube, they do a little title and a little description. So I'm going to put a heading to the side there. So the video title. Let's make this much smaller. I think even smaller than that. You know what? I'm going to make this a paragraph, actually. This is the video title. Make it bold. And then we're going to do a video description underneath. Oh, you know what? Do it this way. The video description. This can be less bold. And I would make this smaller. Make this smaller. Give this some padding. Make that bigger. Okay, there you go. So you can do a few of these. So that it ends up looking like YouTube. Drag these. Drag that. Copy this. There you go. Okay, so I like I think this looks pretty good for a video page. Let's preview it. So it'll play straight from there. And then you have your video title, your video description, and then your comments below. This is kind of what the comments look like. Discus is awesome because you can do a lot of moderation, um, just depending on, you know, what, like, if there's things you don't want people to say, I would definitely recommend checking out the tool. Um, I do want to add some more space below, above this video title, and maybe one more recommended. We'll just drag that. Let's add another image here, another text here. Cool, 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 cool. Let's do some more extra padding here. Well, let's put that down to a two, put this one up to a two, just to give it some more space here. All right, so here's our finished product for the video page. I still don't like how close that is, but that's just me being nitpicky. Okay, so next we have a homepage slash categories page. If you look through YouTube, kind of how they do their categories is by going to photographs, editing, you know, like these different things. This is clearly things that I have been Googling on my YouTube, um, but we are going to create this page and then you'd be able to duplicate it according to which things they click on okay so I have another blank page here and what I want to do is I want to start off with this search bar I'm not going to do the whole logo and menu because when you import this into your own um, website it is going to carry over your header and so you're going to want to like uh, utilize that so I'm kind of going to work around that by adding my own uh, search bar so what we can do here is let's add a block here at the top and we're going to make this a two columnar all right again full width let's pull that in and then we are going to add our search bar and so here you can customize where you want them to search. I would keep them out of your store and your blog. You might just want them to search your pages, um, but they can, you know, go through your site with our search widget. Okay, so now over here, what we're going to do is we're going to add a little icon. So I'm going to take a, 
let's take a little icon here and this can link over to your membership settings over at member okay and we're gonna have this go right let's see let's compare it to YouTube cool 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 let's add some padding here add some padding here that's at a two we like that maybe we don't want this to be full width yeah let's do it that way I like that okay so the next what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a series of videos and once you click on them it is you will link it over to your next page so let's add a block Let's do four across and make this full width. And then we are going to add, let's take the image that we pasted earlier on the recommended videos and put that there. Okay. You know what? Let's copy this. And you're just going to drag all of these across so it looks like YouTube. Then you can also check your sizes. Um, so we got a 25% width. Then this one is also 25%, but it has that padding. So if we get rid of this, in theory, it makes it the same size. Get rid of these paddings. There we go. And so now they're all the same size. Next, you'll probably want to add a text underneath here. We'll say video title. And then we'll put a video. And let's make this a size 16 like we did before and let's decrease this line height cute 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 oops okay so because this is I want these to line up like YouTube does which you don't have to do for the record you can always just make it center aligned I went ahead and I stretch if needed for my images. I'm going to do the same here. Make it the same exact height. And do that across all of the paint images. Jen's going to kill me when she watches this video and it's just all pictures of her. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add the 2% padding to everything again. Well, maybe I'll just do 1%. There we go. I like that better. And then... I am going... So we got the video and video description. Um, then what you're going to do is you can copy this. And we're going to place this across everything. So look, it looks like YouTube. Okay, and now we're going to take this block and we're going to copy it. And paste a few rows. So in theory, so when you make this, each one will be a different video for you and then what you're going to do is you're going to link each image to the video page that we just created except for each video page is going to be uh, duplicated so you know your video a b c you're going to have a video page a b c and then you're going to link this a b c yeah okay and so now last part is what we're going to do is 
we are going to create all of the different columns, I mean, all the different uh, categories up here, similar to how YouTube does it like this. So what I'll do is I'm gonna make this maybe a, I don't know, let's do a, let's try this. Let's do a little button. We are going to make this button a gray like YouTube. The border color will be a darker gray. Let's kick this border radius up to a one. Well, not border, yeah, border radius we want all the way up. Border, border size we want to a one. Border radius, this makes it square or circular. And padding, we want to drop that down. Textile. Let's go ahead and make the button. Let me get the primary color. I'm, I'm building this inside of our theme builder. So you'll be able to use this later on. And then button text, we're gonna call this category. All right. And so now I want to copy this and we're going to paste them next to each other. So they all sit across from each other just like they do in YouTube. We're going to keep paste, paste, pasting. Okay, so now that I have built both of those pages, I have put them into the theme store. So if you go to pages and ignore my Boston Terrier next to me, snoring her little life away, um, and then go to membership slash course, you will see them right here. This one is blank, uh, but I think it's my cache. It should be updated when you log in. And so you can import both of these into your uh website builder and use them. I hope this tutorial has inspired you on different things that you can do for your course and inside of our builder um, and show you like the limitless possibilities that you have with your membership or your online course. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comment sections below this video and please subscribe. Until next time.